Okay, so today we're going to talk about combining like terms. So the first thing we need to do is talk about what a like term is. And a like term is something that is like another thing. That's why it's called like terms. For example, this negative 8 and this negative 7x are like terms, and not because they're both negative, but because they both have the letter x next to them. Because they're like terms, then we can combine them. So we subtract the two of them, or add the two of them together. Negative 8x minus 7x's is negative 15x's. Oh, sorry, this pen's not working. Okay, number two. So on this, this problem is slightly different than number one, because yes, I have three terms instead of two terms, but notice on number one how they both have x's. On number two, they're not all like. So 9 and n both have, or 9 and 8 both have n, so they are like, but my 3 doesn't have an n, so it is not like. So you cannot combine the 3 with your 9 and your 8. The only things that you can combine are the like terms, which would be this 9 and this 8n. So if we add them together, if I have 9n's and 8 more, then we have 17n's. Then this cute little 3 just gets brought down, we're not going to do anything with that because it is not a like term. So again, one more time, number four, um, we have some like terms here. These R's are like because they both have R's. And remember, if you just see a letter, then there's an invisible one sitting in front of them. And then my two numbers are like terms because they both don't have any extra letters with them. So we're going to combine them all at the same time. Well, the like ones anyways. So if I have one R and another R, I now have two R's. And then if I have six minus four, I get two as well. Notice here, my r and this two does not have an r, so these are not like terms, so we can't simplify any further. And these are expressions, which means they don't equal anything, so we are done with these.